Thank you for joining us for Real Estate in the Love Country. I'm your host, Betsy McDaniel. We have an excellent show lined up for you today, but first, a look at mortgage payment rates and affordable housing on the island. Mortgage delinquency rates are a key economic factor closely watched by economists, and unlike 2008 when a large number of homeowners stopped paying on time, signaling the start of the Great Recession, there is currently good news in that area, coming out of a recent report from the Mortgage Bankers Association. The report found that more Americans are paying their mortgages on time than at any other point in the last two decades. It is widely believed that having a greater equity in their home is a large factor in why payments are being made on time. In fact, homeowner equity in the U.S. stands at $1.5 trillion, the highest on record according to the Federal Reserve. Also, stricter federal, federal underwriting rules since 2010 have limited who can get a mortgage. And while some lenders have started to loosen those stricter standards a bit, it is unlikely that they will go back to pre-recession leniency. Workforce housing continues to be one of the greatest challenges facing Hilton Head, and while many are talking about it, one local company decided to take action. The Richardson Group, owner and developer of Caligny Plaza and other commercial properties on the island, turned empty space in the building they own at 7 Lagoon Road into eight studio apartments. The building, now known as Sound Waves, houses the Hilton Head Symphony Orchestra on the lower level. The units are approximately 420 square feet, with rents from $900 to $1,000 a month, including utilities, internet, and a community laundry room. And they aren't stopping there. The next project will turn the upstairs of the Caligny Rollers building into four two-bedroom, two-bath units. Additionally, there is a larger project that is yet to be announced, but a spokesman for the company stated, I can say we have a large building on 278 that will be converted into 20 units. That will mean 20 to 30 food and beverage employees on the south end who aren't going to be sitting on the bridge. The Richardson Group is committed to continue to find other existing buildings to convert into housing and hopes other corporations will follow suit. Check out the sources on your screen for more information on these and other stories and check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Much more right after the break. Don't go away.